Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekend love reads for the 27th to the 29th of September. Don't forget to like uh, this video because the most liked video for the weekends gets a bonus read for that sign. So uh, if you find this resonates, please also leave me a comment uh, down below and subscribe because I like to know what's happening in your lives. All right, let's get started. Oh, first card already out. Okay. So this is kind of how Sagittarius started um, with the Two of Swords. So, but they were releasing confusion. So that's interesting. Love messages are there, please. For Taurus. Love messages for Taurus, please. Mm. Some sort of confusion around a King of Swords, maybe. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're kind of a, how can you be confused and at peace at the same time? That's, someone is. I actually think it's this King of Wands that's confused. Whereas Taurus, you're over here kind of peacefully sleeping it off, unbothered. Yeah, sun's shining. Love messages. No. You okay? Hmm. You know why you're peacefully sleeping it off? Because you've got someone else on your mind. I think. Um, that you're thinking about that's kind of lighting your fire a little bit. This is a past energy. Um, or maybe not quite a past, but it's someone you're getting a little bit bored with, I think. Again, we've got this four of swords. Um, and it's because I think someone else has kind of caught your attention. Let's see. This could be the reason for the two of swords as well. Um, star card just jumped out. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. I'm going to take this as a little bit more of a middle card because I didn't really ask for anything. So what is the Two of Swords, please? And then I'll know where to put it. It's what happens when you're not paying attention. Okay, uh, so what have we got here? Five of Swords kind of like you don't actually it's, it's been quite a, a happy ending like a harmonious ending there's been no big fight you've just kind of drifted apart I think um can I have another for the other sword in the two the sword it could be why this eight came out actually you could, this resistance to move on um because you're not actually moving on you've just kind of moved apart is what I'm getting. See, that will teach me for not listening to spirit when they give me a card. Yeah, but you don't want to, you've realized that this is not what you want to offer your energy to anymore. So whoever this king of swords is, he might be a little bit upset with that, which is why he's in reverse. So there might be some negative aspects of his personality coming out. So I've just realized that I'm too far across today. Um, but yeah, so, and that, that could be the reason he's reversed, but I'm not kind of picking up any real anger. It's just like this sulking feeling, like disappointment and sulking. He's not aggro. He's just like, Hoof, that's all I'm kind of getting. But you've been thinking about it for quite some time. What's the four of swords? Why are you so peaceful about this? Yeah, because you, you've you already done your thinking, that's why. So you've already been through your Four of Cups in the upright and now you've reached the Four of Cups in reverse. So you're kind of at peace with all of this. Um, I'm really in two minds about whether this person is still in your life or not. I feel like it didn't actually have a proper ending for some reason, but it's not over. I can't explain that. But it is over because as my regulars will know, I can see like that there's big rings around this. Like this is, there's a wall here. This is then, this is now. 
So, I don't know what's going on. Someone explain it to me in the comments, please, what's happening. What is the... Why are we so happy? What's this sun card? What's coming in? Why is the sun shining so brightly? It's like glaring. Oh, because you're the queen of wands. Probably going out, being quite social. Everyone's kind of looking at you like, oh my God, look at them. They've got their whole life together. You just look like you've got that special, the X factor at the moment. So whatever you're doing, like the Midas touch, whatever you touch turns to gold at the moment. Uh, yeah, and Empress Energy. So those two coming through. So you've got this, you're just radiating like the sun, this positive, collected, grounded, amazing energy. Um, and it's attracting everyone to you. It's just making you kind of untouchable. Wow, Taurus. All right, let's see what this is going on with this page of wands over here. I feel like this is you wanting to just kind of being a little bit indecisive, but wanting to tell someone something. And I think it's someone that you like, like it's a bit of a love offer. You're very attracted to them. Um, page of wands, please. Yeah, okay. So your ten of um ten of swords, you might have spent some time actually being quite hurt by this person before, but now that you're not feeling like that, you've got regained some confidence. And that's what's making you feel one, it's making you feel all this, but it's also giving you the confidence to kind of believe that you can have more. Another for the page, please. Mm, weirdly, that's the lack of confidence card. Um, okay, I need to clarify that. Ah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I was really confused then. I was like, what? Um, okay, yeah, because you've gone through this... This uh, The reason you've got your confidence back is because you've actually been through not having any confidence, but you've reconnected with your higher self and you're now tapping into that intuition and that inner love and you're finally kind of loving yourself for the first time, I feel. Um, and that's what's, that's what's giving you this radiation, like it's powerful. And it's giving you the confidence that you might not have had before to approach people and give out your number and talk to the girl at the bar or the guy at the bar. Um, and you've not always been like that for some reason, Taurus. Okay. All right. Let's see how you're feeling this weekend. Maybe you're going out. What's Taurus feeling about this this weekend? Oh, keep dropping it. Okay, 10 of pentacles. So lots of abundance happening this weekend. You might have some extra money to play with and go out with. Um, lots of, yeah, lots of friends, family, like abundance of everything, all the positive things. Oh, and cups of love, abundance of love offers by the look of it. And that is a hundred percent to do with this. What you're this confidence that you're just exuding. It's overwhelming me. Okay, what's um? I don't think we've got. Let's see. Talk about who's coming towards you because you don't really have another person. I want to know who it is that you're thinking about. Who's this person that Taurus is thinking about? Can you tell us about this person? Okay, could be an Aries. Could be an older person. Could be someone that you work with that's a bit more senior than you. Mm, but they do have a... They've kind of got this um, tendency... They might actually be a little bit shy. Um, but they also... They have this tendency of um, not being a bad boy or a bad girl, but there's something naughty that attracts you to them i don't know what that means either but you know what i mean like there's something there's like a there's like a secrecy and maybe that's what it is maybe you guys are sneaking around 
or you can't actually approach them up front because there's some sort of work reason uh they might be like quite a bit older than you and i don't know but there's some sort of secrecy attached to it which is exciting for you and that's possibly why this hasn't properly ended so it's ended in emotionally but it might not have ended officially meanwhile you've got this secret thing going on over here yeah, but they're slowly coming towards you and you're slowly coming towards them with an actual offer. So very interesting. All right, what's the most likely outcome this weekend for Taurus, please? I think we're a little bit over time. No, not too bad. I'm trying to keep my, my videos to a normal length. Okay, so there won't be any new opportunities this weekend by the look of things, Taurus, but that does not mean it's not coming because you absolutely have this over here. Um, you've got all of this sun, you've got multiple love offers coming at you, but I think what you're looking for is the opportunity with this person. That isn't going to eventuate this weekend by the look of things. Let's see what is. The rest of the weekend, please. Most likely outcome, please. Yep. Thanks. Oh, because you're still juggling. Uh-oh. I think I was onto something here. So I think maybe you haven't quite ended it officially with this person. Okay, there's still some juggling. You might actually only be juggling between the secrecy of it, like whether or not to come out, but you've also got the four of wands. Oh my God. So this could absolutely be worth taking the risk for if that's a secrecy thing. Um, I do feel like emotionally this is over. Um, that you and you know it and you feel the same way which is why you're at peace with it you've been through it um already so i don't i think that it's actually emotionally over for both of you to a degree i think that this person is still a little bit bitter about it um but yeah okay this is quite amazing taurus that's what's happening for the weekend at least let's get you some advice on how you're going to handle this tricky situation Advice for Taurus, please, for this situation for this weekend. Thank you. Yes. Oh, the devil. Okay, I just heard then you're playing with fire. Okay, so whatever this is, you need to make sure that you manage it the right way. Because if you don't, it's going to come off badly. Okay. Oh, another. Ten of Wands, yeah. You're going to end up with a whole lot of burdens if you don't do this the right way. Ace of Swords, be honest. Okay, so you're being advised that you need to come forward with the truth and start the new new start with the truth. That could not get any more clearer with the advice right there. That was intense. Um, so your advice is very clear that if you don't tell the truth soon enough, the truth is going to come out. And if it comes out... This is going to be you carrying all these sticks, okay? You don't want that. So release yourself. The truth will set you free, I just heard as well, okay? Um, so spirit is 100% saying you need to just come forward and be honest about whatever's going on. Let's get uh, Romance Angel for uh, Taurus, please. What advice do you have, Romance Angels, for Taurus for this weekend? Getting to know each other. You are getting to know this new person for sure. Whew. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Thank you so much. Please remember to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like this video too because the video with the most likes for that sign gets a bonus reading for that sign the next week. hope that's not too confusing. Um, <laughs> if you... Uh, if this resonates with you, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what's happening in your, what's happening here. I want to know more. So keep me posted. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you for the weeklies. Bye.